Hello, my name is Akini Tirana Rafisa from International University Life in Indonesia, Hotel Tourism and Management 2017. Today, I'm going to tell you about Madura cuisine, which are sake Madura and Roti Pokok. Before I tell you about the cuisine, I'm going to tell you about Madura first. Madura is an Indonesian island of Java's northeast coast and is administered as part of province of East Java. Madura is separated from Java by Madura Strait. Madura consists of four districts which are Bangkalan, Sampang, Pamekasan, and Sumeneb. Madura also have a strong Islam influence in, and in each of those four districts have many delicious food. Most people in Indonesia only know Soto Madura and Sate Madura as Madura's cuisine. But actually, that is not all. There are many kinds of Madura's cuisine, such as Kaldu Kokot. The first menu I'm going to tell you about is Kaldu Kokot. Kaldu Kokot is a heritage of Sumana Pergensi. Many tourists thought of this food if they visited this district. The main ingredients are green beans, tadpoles of gravel, ginger, onion leaves, garlic, shallots, and many more. The name of Kaldu itself refers to basic ingredients, green beans, and bone stew. Usually, Maduris use bone and beef for stew materials, but Arab Maduris people often use goat bones and goat meats. Kaldu kokot is a dish as reminder to always keep humble. Kaldu kokot main ingredients is green beans which can be found easily where the tree is not tall, not fragrant, and also not beautiful. But it is healthy and kokot that came from the lowest part of cow which these ingredients reminds that no matter how low it seems but it is still useful the next one is sate madura sate madura is a typical of indonesian food in the form of chicken satay typical of madura madura satay has been famous throughout the archipelago with its distinctive spices before it is cooked you have to marinate it with crushed garlic salt and sweet soy sauce and before you roast it, you have to coat it with mixture of sweet soy sauce and butter. And the sauce made from ground nuts, sweet soy sauce, ground fried garlic, and ground fried shallots, and a bit of salt. The history of this food is that when Jaran Panoles group, who was the Duke of Semenit Madura, visited his brother named Lembu Panigoro, or Bataro Katong who was a duke in Panoroko. He was offered a meal. When given a meal of satay, Jaran Panoleh and his entourage were reluctant to eat the dish. Besides, they never see it and have an odd shape. Seeing the expression of the younger sibling, finally the older brother explained that the food was usually eaten by warriors Panorogo who had the character of Wirai. Finally, Jaran Panoleh and his entourage were willing to eat the food because in the eyes of Jaran Panoleh, the land perdikan led by his brother was so difficult to understand and guess. Jaran Panoleh asked for permission to study the lives of Panarogo people including culinary making satay to everyday clothes of Warok Panorogo to be applied in Madura Plains. After getting to know the satay Panorogo more deeply, creating ways to make satay and recipes are easier by making Madura style satay that we know until today. Unlike the satay of Panorogo which always use chicken, Madura satay also use goat meats and beef. That was my explanation about some of Madura's cuisine. 
But actually, that's not all. There are still many kinds of Madura school beans, such as Mentok, Soto Sabreng, Apen Madura, and many more. But there are still lack of information about these foods. I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.